Hello guys, today I want to talk about a few things that you can do potentially dangerous in Laravel projects. So dangerous I mean, if you add some code globally in your Laravel project, some configuration, some setting, some feature, and then other teammates or even yourself in the future may miss that, may miss some logic, may misunderstand and introduce some bugs or unexpected behavior. Maybe dangerous is not the best word, it's kind of potentially harmful, but they are all useful features in Laravel, you just need to use them with caution and potentially document everything. So, first thing that came to my mind is global scopes. So, if you want to add some condition on all queries, all eloquent queries of your Laravel model, so for example, this is the documentation, add global scope with ancient scope, which will add this condition to all queries, when you use model like this user all and the scope itself if we scroll a bit up so you add where condition on all eloquent queries this may be cool if you use that scope on your current projects queries so for example everywhere you want to query only active records or only records that are 30 years from now within some time scope or something and this may sound cool but in the future imagine a new developer joining your team and they see only user all in controller or in some other class and they don't even know that there's a hidden global scope behind it that filters out some data. So if you have repeated queries, repeated conditions, I would probably use local scopes instead and specifically provide like an eloquent query user active and then get or user recent and then get then it's readable, then new developers can check out what is recent, so they should find, let's scroll down to the local scopes, yeah, local scopes, so they can find in the model scope popular or scope recent or something. This is probably some more work to add that local scope to all the queries everywhere, but this is more safe in the long run. In my experience, the best good example of using global scopes is multi-tenancy. So for example, you would add global scope multi-tenant or something, and that would filter only the records by currently logged in user. So where user ID or where created by user ID, auth ID. So that is often used for multi-tenancy, which makes great sense because that multi-tenancy is the core logic of your project. Otherwise, be careful when using global scopes. The second potentially dangerous global thing is eager loading by default with with property on eloquent model. So, of course, we all know that eager loading is great to avoid n plus one query problem and too many queries to the database. So we need to eager load the relationship. So, for example, load book with author and then it loads all the authors in one query. And you may think that it's very convenient to always load the authors on all the book model queries because you will basically need authors everywhere. So if you provide that with on eloquent model level, then again, think about future developers who would work with books and maybe only with books and then every query of that books would load the authors, although potentially they are not needed. And that may lead to performance issues. I've encountered that multiple times, especially in the API project where you download the data. So for example, your API call want the latest books. They don't care about the author, but the authors are loaded automatically. And then the API result returned is much bigger in kilobytes or even megabytes than it should be. And it become even more dangerous if you use with on a few models. One time in my career, I encountered that situation where with was added on two different models by two different developers. And then in one API call, I bump into kind of cascade situation where one model was loaded with another model and that model in turn loaded the third model and the result of API was pretty huge, although I didn't specifically query those relationships. So this is another example of a cool feature, but use that with caution. The third potentially harmful or dangerous thing that you can do, and again, we're talking about global things here on the project scope level, is global middleware. So you can create some kind of middleware and you may add it conveniently. In the Laravel framework, if we take a look at app HTTP kernel file, you can add the global middleware just to the middleware array, or you can add a middleware to the web or to the API group, which would be called automatically on every request in routes web or in routes API. 
So I've seen people doing that with, for example, language setting with some global settings for every request. But again, be careful. Maybe in the future there will be some request that does not need that middleware and the developer wouldn't be aware that that middleware is even called. Personally, if something unexpected is happening with the request, app HTTP kernel file wouldn't be the first thing, the first place what I would check. Probably I would get into that file eventually while debugging, but this is a pretty hidden place for some logic and I would be very cautious with adding global middlewares. Instead, you should add middlewares with the name here and then assign that to specific route group or specific routes in your routes web or routes API file where it would be readable and visibly clear that that middleware is called for those routes. And finally, thing number four, the dangerous thing number four is overriding any defaults, any well-known defaults in Laravel framework. So here's my tweet, retweeted with my own opinion. I do that quite often. So you can follow me on Twitter where I retweet the stuff and adding a thought or two on my own. So here's a tweet, original tweet by Nico and he shares that he overrides the user model or it may be any other model delete method with parent delete which comes from laravel default and on top of that before that he deletes something else or cancels subscription for example and this seems convenient but again think in the future about other developers who just call the delete method by laravel framework and they wouldn't even expect something else happening before that so that may come as a surprise. And based on this example, the general tip is if you override something well-known, well-known feature or function or property in Laravel framework, it may come as a surprise for future developers or even for yourself in the future. In this case, instead of that, Laravel gives a lot of features for extension, but not overriding the defaults. Things like observer in this case, or events and listeners in this case, or even adding more code in the controller after that delete or creating a service class with method delete that calls the delete and then calls those things. You can perform that even on the database level, cascading the delete, something like that. So there are a lot of possibilities extending the framework with separate classes, but not overriding the defaults. I'm not saying it's bad. It works for Nico for himself and that's great, but I would not personally do that just for the long-term future. So the code should be clear and actively tell what it does, not hide the logic somewhere in overridden methods. What do you think, guys? Anything else potentially dangerous or harmful you can think about? Shoot in the comments below, share your knowledge and practice. I really love when you add more content to my videos with your comments. And sometimes there are great discussions in the comment section. So subscribe to the channel to get new videos with those comments as well. And also you can support my channel mission of shooting daily videos by subscribing to Laravel Daily Courses. The best deal is to subscribe to yearly membership with all 25 courses available. And I will will reshoot a lot of old courses to Laravel 9 when it comes out or you can pick the courses that you want about advanced Laravel Livewire or GraphQL or Eloquent Performance which we've touched briefly in this video or cues in Laravel Solid Code, JetStream example and a lot of other stuff. So that's it for now and see you guys in other daily videos on this YouTube channel.